We had the lift booked for splashing Velocera in just five days and had a ton of work to get done. So we woke up early, had a nice breakfast and some coffee and got started busting out the projects. This is the new through haul for our new BNG depth sounder water temp and speed log transducer. The wedge or the shim that you see in between it and the hull is used to angle the transducer so it isn't shooting off to the side too much. It needed to be at a maximum of 20 degrees and the dead rise of the hull was about 30 degrees so this angle of about 10 degrees for the shim worked out perfectly. How'd that go? Went really well. It's nice. It gets maybe just a the tiniest bit off an of angle. That's okay. I mean, you'd never know, but it's super solid and definitely not gonna leak. Use the oh, 4,000, you know, 3M. Yeah, that's good. Once it goes off, we'll, we can put that, actually put the transducer in. Yeah, that's a done job, man. And we really lucked out on that because the new transducer was the same size as the old transducer. So the shim, everything worked. It was perfect. Just slid Luck. right in. Yep, it's all done. Sweet. Here we see that same wedge angle for the inside of the through hole, and you can see the nut fastens down to the wedge. Having two people for the through hole install made it much easier to get that job done. And once that was wrapped up, I scrubbed the boat down and got my polish on. Day two of polishing for me. Got that second side of the hull done, and while I was grooving with my polisher, Curtis was wrapping up all the projects at the top of the mast. Getting ready for our crane day. We wanted to paint the top of the mast fluorescent green to hopefully improve our visibility. So here I've taped off all the areas where I don't want to get paint and also isolated the section of the mast below the part we were gonna paint. I uh, painted on about six or seven coats of the green fluorescent paint and about five or six coats of some clear over it. Came out great. Ooh, this was such a fun and big day for me. Actually turning my sketch for Bella Sarah's name into a reality on either side of the boat. So I prepared the surfaces on either side of the hull, cleaned with denatured alcohol, sanded a little bit to make sure the paint would stick, traced my letters and started to paint. I am an artist, so I did not want to use vinyl prefab font and letters. It's more traditional way to have a name painted on the boat, but I'm a little different and wanted to have a little artistic flair. How not to pour paint. Ah!
No, give me some more. Did it out. Did it out. So we're wrapping up the top of the mast today. Stepping them tomorrow, so need to get everything done. So currently everything is on top of the mast. I'm probably going to remove a couple things or maybe three things uh, for when the crane's lifting the mast up. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys what is up here, what it looks like on the top of the mast. This is our new B&G anemometer. Nice, clever piece of gear. Uh, well thought out, clips on and off at the top of its uh, mount very easily so that when you're stuck up there on top of the mast sitting in the bosun's chair, it's easy to deal with. The new Lunacy Tricolor with the strobe on top of it. And we bought a little stanchion base and did some mods on it so that we could stand the light up off of the top of the mast so that it would have better visibility for some of the other gear around it, like the Navico VHF AIS antenna. And then of course this is your standard Windex wind vane, so it shows your apparent wind direction and your no sail zone. And then below the fluorescent paint that we put on to hopefully improve our visibility, we also got a couple rows of some really killer DOT reflective tape. When we got the boat, she'd been kind of not used a whole lot. The lines were all really mildewy. Put them in pillowcases, went to the laundromat, and washed them with some mild detergent and a little fabric softener. Washing our lines vibrated out a little bit. <laughs> All right. Look at that. They came out pretty darn nice. Look how clean they are. They look awesome. They're sparkling. They're sparkling. Big day, and there was a lot of prep to get done before the crane came. We had to lay out all of the rigging and measure it all. We wanted a template of all the rigging so that when we were ready to get new rigging, we would have all the measurements already and could just send in the order and have it built for us, or probably going to build it ourselves, actually. And then put all the rigging on the mast and be completely prepared for when the crane came, which we did. Timing worked out really well and up she went. Hey friends, when you're done watching, head over to sunlovesailing.com to check out our blog for updates, scope out our merch designed by yours truly, and just say hey. Thanks. The long awaited day? It's splash day! 
Yeah, we had a lot to get done. Uh, I had to scrape, sand all the paint, tape off the water line, and get two coats of bottom paint on, but we pulled it off just in time for the big finale. So this side will peel the tape from the front. Yep. And this side will peel the tape from the back. Yeah, we did good today. Sightseeing airplane. Got up early. Woke up real early, five o'clock. Didn't get up then. Got the transducer painted at the mushroom and just up inside of the main bore. With the water-based anti-fouling paint. Transducer paint. Nice. <clears throat> Then went and got some jack stands from over in the yard and moved the jack stands ourselves. And then got caught moving the jack stands ourselves by Rick, the owner of the yard, who really didn't seem to mind that bad. And then we scraped, sanded, and tacked off the top stripe up there. Now we're getting ready to put the beautiful midnight blue that Christina used on the uh, to outline the name, Bellisera. Paint that top stripe that midnight blue. We have and then a few we're hours. Splash. It's splash day. Yep. Splash day, we got how many long? Four and a half hours? Yeah. Four and a half hours, we'll be floating. All right, stop your gabbing. <laughs> Over and out. Man, it's gonna take a lot of paint with it hot like this. Yeah. To really keep it from getting streaky. Yeah, that's why I used the paint thinner on that side. Yeah. The sun side needed it. Well, maybe we should put a little in. It's the last little bit of tape. paint is below the water line, it sure does spruce her up when it's finished. It's been a long journey. If you've been following our blog or social media, you know Bella Sarah was floating in Louisville, Kentucky on the Ohio River and had been in fresh water for decades. She was put on a truck, hauled to Virginia, and finally was going back to her natural habitat where she could taste the sweet salt water she was built for.
We had a couple things to attend to after she hit the water. First thing was stuffing box was pouring in a little bit of water. That was just a minor adjustment. The big deal was, however, she wasn't pumping any water. So first thought maybe it was the impeller, but soon found out there was actually a vacuum in the sea strainer. So in the line in between the through hull, the raw water intake and the sea strainer, some uh, air had gotten up in that line. So we backed out that bubble and fired her up. She pumped water like a champ and we went for a little cruise. So much to say. One word to sum up how you're feeling right now. One of the best days of my life. One word. <laughs> that wasn't one word. <laughs> <laughs> it was one emotion. It was one thought. One word. I, it's too trite for how I feel right now. Mm -hmm. You. <laughs> I don't want to say euphoric, euphoria, mm -hmm. but pretty damn good. Nice. Is that one word? Nope. <laughs> really, really, really good. Yep. Pretty. I've never felt this feeling before. Pretty close. Felt pretty good on Adelie first time we floated, but... I think I always knew in my heart that Adelie was a stepping stone to a proper yacht like Bellisera. How are you feeling? I'm very happy. Good. I'm excited. I don't know how we're going to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to sleep. Yeah. I want to stay awake all night. Yeah. We're buoyant. Mm. I think there's... No, oh, it's the next chapter. Yeah, beginning All on the water. Yeah, beginning of a great adventure. Yeah, as Lou Reed would say. <laughs> yeah, indeed. <laughs> <laughs>